All right, so this is the CT1 built by Onsite Building Solutions. Every one of these stations that you see here has an automatic dust collection system. So every time you turn a tool on, the vacuum turns on with it. It'll run for about five seconds after you're done using the tool. It turns itself off. Every one of these tools that you see set up here, they all fit inside of these drawers. They're five foot full extension drawers, hold up to 250 pounds on the end. If you come around this way, we have a, a full clamping table. So if you're building your, uh, your cabinet face frames or whatever it might be, or you go ahead and set all your pieces up, clamp them down, shoot them together, screw them together, do what you gotta do. This table is also built on the same plane as my router table. So when you're running a long piece through your router table, you have at least a, a nice landing point here. Again, every one of the tools has an automatic vacuum. So you turn it on, vacuum comes on, turn the tool off, the vacuum will stay on for about five seconds, turns itself off. Every one of these tools, they lift right up, get stored in the drawer, and then these slides collapse all the way in, right back down to a five by 10 trailer. So these two by threes here, they're all built to store inside of this front box. They store above your vacuum and your compressor. Lid closes down, locks up. When you pull up on site, you pull them all out. You can set all this up. You can set down your four by eight sheet of plywood if you wanted a four by eight table, or if you needed to rip some pieces off of it with your skill saw, your track saw, you can go ahead and do that. Just set your depth. Let it cut through the tops of these two by threes. They're sacrificial. You can cut through it a million times. Go ahead and replace them when you feel like it. And then when, when this front end is fully collapsed, we have this fuel goal post that's sitting on the ground right here. It fits into this section of pipe and stands straight up. It's a continuation of our rack. So if we needed to pull around your 16 foot pieces of trim or 24 foot sticks of aluminum, you can do that as well. Um, if you want to come around this way, Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Can I come behind you? Thank you. Um, the table saw and the track saw are also built similar to the, the router table on the other side. They're on the same plane. So if you're going to run something through this table saw, you can go ahead and do that. You have a nice landing spot here. If you're going to run something extra wide through your table saw, uh, like say you have a, a 1x12 that you need to rip or, uh, or something even wider than that, none of this is fully mounted. So you can go ahead and lift this up. Go ahead and store it away temporarily. Rip whatever you got to do with the table saw. You have a nice landing point here. And then once you're done with it, just go ahead and set your chop saw right back up. It's every tool, again, has the automatic vacuum system, collects all your dust, no mess. It's under your seven foot height, so it'll fit into any standard size garage door. And this black carpet that you see it sitting on is a 20 by 20, same size as your standard two car garage. Can you just talk about the power and you know, a, 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 generator yes and uh, air compressor yeah so um so we have a uh, onboard compressor hookups on both sides hook up right here same thing on the other side if you want to go ahead and uh, you can just pop this off throw your gun on it shoot some stuff together do what you got to do um it runs off of two separate 20 amp circuits so your power goes in back here um we did two separate circuits so you can have somebody working on both sides of it you're not going to overload the system um, if you pull up to a site and it has power, great, go ahead and plug it in. If you pull up to a site and it doesn't have power, you can just go ahead and unhook your generators from the front. We have storage on the front for two Honda generators. Pull them off, set them wherever you need to, run a cord back, and you're good to go. And price tag on this? Uh, this right here, everything that you see, tools, generators, everything included, runs about $40,000. Um, if you're not a fan of DeWalt tools, or if you don't need a Craig Foreman, you want to pro provide your own tools, it runs about 36, and we'll give you the adapters to make them fit. Excellent. Awesome. Appreciate it. All right on. Thank you.